welcome to another episode of Girl Shows Way Too Many Clothes and is Way Too Into It. I'm Shelby. I have accumulated um, a ridiculous amount of clothes. This is not actually a thrift haul. This is um, a brand new haul. I don't enjoy those as much. I don't relish spending large amounts of money. It makes me feel much better. It gives me a rush of adrenaline to purchase things used and get a really good deal on things and there are some things in here that I got a really good deal on mind you but a lot of things you just end up paying way too much money for and I don't enjoy that process. I work at Anthropology. I, before that I worked at Free People so I am kind of used to having this employee discount at Anthropology, Free People and Urban Outfitters. And for that reason, I am able to get a lot of things from Urban Outfitters and Anthropology on sale, and that's where a lot of this stuff is from, other than like Marshalls and Nordstrom Rack and stuff like that. Other than that, I am always at the mall, so I'm kind of always having things pushed in my face that are brand new. So it's kind of inevitable that sometimes I just, I just go and I buy things and I'm just like, you know, my brain sometimes will have that sickness where it feels it needs to buy things and it needs new things in its world. I'm done. I am a fashion design major so it's kind of in my whole being to be obsessed with just touching clothes, seeing clothes, putting on clothes, um, looking at silhouettes and fits and colors and fabrics. I just, I love it. I love the whole thing. So just don't judge me too hard. But anyways, um, let's hop into it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with anthropology first because that's where I work now and it's always in my face uh, all the time for multiple hours at a time. I mostly have taken advantage of the sales. Anthropology actually has really good sales, I will say. I have been able to walk away with a few really nice little bits and bobs. So the first thing I want to show is this dress, which is called the Lucille dress. It's very summery. It was on um, a 50% off sale. It has this tie where you can cinch it. It you know, has all these fringes that go along the hem and everything. And just the embroidery is just so beautiful. I love the color scheme. It actually reminds me of my dog's color scheme because she has a light pink collar and she's like this color beige. I actually don't love the top part of it too much. The skirt part is my favorite. But what I normally do with it is I wear this oversized sweater that I have from Urban and then I usually tuck it into the belt and I make it look like it's like a skirt and it kind of makes it more wearable so that it's not just a fancy dress. This one is by Maeve and it is this like jersey knit maxi skirt. It has like this ruching up at the top so that it gives you a really defined waist but then it goes out and it's just like a really nice flare out maxi skirt. And since working at Anthropology, I have gotten so much more into maxi skirts. You can wear them in the summer, they're super light and easy, and then you can wear them in the winter with like some leggings underneath them and no one even sees it. I love this. It's also neutral colors and a really nice pattern so I can wear it with a lot of different tops and a lot of different ways. This was a really great purchase because this was 50% off the sale too. So it was $40 on sale and it ended up being like 20 bucks. So I was very happy with this purchase. The last like clothing piece that I got at Anthropology was these Pilker and the Letterpress jeans. I knew when I started working there, I wanted to eventually buy one pair of Pilker and the Letterpress because they're really famous and well known for their stretch denim. And I really was in the market for a good pair of dark wash denim. It has this detail in it where it's like this slanted pocket. I think it, it kind of gives a little like hint of an extra shape, but these are just a really nice fitting pair of jeans. They claim to be high rise, but they're not high rise enough for me, but it's fine. Like they're still flattering enough that I like them. They're really comfortable because of the stretch denim. I actually just size down in these, which is, I guess, always nice. Kind of. It's a little bit of a mind trick, but these are really nice jeans and I really enjoyed these. I'll just show like one thing that I got from Marshalls like a while back. So this is like 1000% meant to be a men's windbreaker, but I, I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cop it anyway. This is a Levi's windbreaker. It has the Levi's going across the, the way in red. It has a really cool like vintage inspired color scheme with this like 
dull off white and then it also has the famous like levo Le levo the famous levi's like patch but it's in the back i just really think it's quite stunning and then just this little cute little levi's patch right there and then you can also see it has the famous red tab right on the pocket it's a half zip it's got a hood that's always nice but I saw it in the men's section and I was like, I just have to have it. It's so cute. The other thing I got from Marshalls, I was on a little bit of a, of a Levi's fix, if you couldn't tell. I had really been wanting the perfect Levi's t-shirt because I didn't want just a regular t-shirt that just had, you know, the Levi's typography in between the two red rectangles. I didn't want that. That is basic to me. I didn't want, I, I didn't want just Levi's written somewhere on the shirt. I didn't want that. I wanted either the one that has the screen printing of the leather patch or I wanted the actual like leather patch to be on the t-shirt and I was so happy when I found this because this is better than I could have even expected. It is screen printed on there I guess but it just it looks crackled, it looks leathery, it just it looks worn. I think it's so beautiful. I'm very happy with this purchase. So moving from like a really historically rich Levi's t-shirt, let me show you the other Levi's t-shirt that I got actually from the Nordstrom Rack, which is so unrelated to Levi's, it's ridiculous, but I, I saw it and I literally could not pass it up. I think it's so cool. So it is this t-shirt, it's very boxy, but it just has the little Levi's right in the center it's very tiny but i think it's a really cool bright vibrant blue but then the thing that is also amazing about this shirt is that on the back it has a piece of cake screen printed on there i don't know why it's there it's so random but i think it's hilarious and no one would guess that it was made by levi's and it even has the the levi's red tab i just it's great. As a Levi's lover, I just think it's, I think it's perfect. Really quickly, this was just something else that I saw at the um, Nordstrom Rack. This was five bucks. I still haven't worn it yet, but I'm planning on wearing it. It's just a basic um, The Who t-shirt. The Who is my dad's favorite band, and we love The Who here. I just think it'll be really nice tucked into some jeans. I think it's just a really good basic white t-shirt. The last thing I got from the Nordstrom Rack is this skirt. I get to wear this two actually. Um, it still has its tags attached. But I have been on the hunt for a really good leopard midi or maxi skirt because that was the big trend like last year, the end of last year, and then it was a trend all throughout the summer and into fall. I think that you can't go wrong with putting something with a good leopard skirt. And I think that this will look great just underneath some really bulky chunky sweaters. It has like a little lining up the top of the skirt but then it kind of goes sheer. I'm hoping that the sheerness isn't too sheer to the point where it looks cheap because that's not what I wanted. I'm pretty sure that everything else is Urban Outfitters. The first thing I'm going to show is actually what I'm wearing which is this beautiful batwing cropped kind of shirt. Um, and it is actually in this one too. Um, I got them, I got this shirt in this rust color, this green color, and then I also got it in white. I got it in so many colors because I love the shape of it. I love bat wings. I just think it's so, it's so massive. Like, look at this shirt. I just love the way that it drapes and it hangs. And I love having sleeves that are dramatic. It's called the Out From Under Ella Long Sleeve Crop Top. I recommend it. The material is a little thin, um, especially on the white one. The material is kind of see-through, but it's not a big deal. Like, just wear something underneath it. It's a cool silhouette. It's worth it. I did buy this full price with my discount. Everything else I pretty much got on sale. Urban was doing this thing where it was doing 40 and 50% off sale a lot. So it would be like sale and then additional 40 or 50% off, which is a great deal. I can't deny how great Urban is sometimes and I love going to Urban for that reason. But yeah, so I got a lot of good deals, I think. The first thing I bought was this sweater, which was $30 with 40% off and I loved this sweater. I was eyeing it for a long time I forgot about it and then I saw it in the sale room and I was like You're coming with me because I liked you when I saw you So it is just this like little cropped 
um, sweatshirt, but then what I love about it is on the back it has this elasticated circle, which I just think is really cool. I think you can wear a really cute bralette with it, a really cute like lacy or sporty bralette with it, and just really have a, a nice back moment. The next thing I got, um, I still haven't worn them yet, I'm waiting for it to get a little bit colder, but um, I found these ones in the sale room and didn't actually know what the sale price was because someone had ripped off the sticker, but they are just like these like gorgeous little like ribbed knit gray culotte kind of pants. And they're just elasticated up at the waist. And this was on sale for $9 and I got it for like 6 I had really good luck with windbreakers. Um, because I got that Levi's windbreaker which I am obsessed with. And then I also got this windbreaker that I am equally obsessed with. I love the men's section at Urban because the men dress like how I wish the women would dress. And it zips completely down. It is a toile print. It's gorgeous. It has a hood. The only thing I don't like about this is that Urban does this thing where sometimes they will print the print upside down and so you have like an upside down like little blue and white tall person and you're just like, why couldn't they have made this right side up? I don't know. People get that that's what this is supposed to be. So I love just having like really expressive beautiful clothes that just, you don't have to say anything. It's just a cool item. It's just a cool piece. So this one was actually really fun, um, didn't know the price of this guy either, but it was in the sale room. It is a champion hoodie that is blue and yellow, and it gave me serious Billie Eilish vibes. I really liked that it was so Billie Eilish, and this is basically what I'm calling my Billie Eilish hoodie. But I asked somebody, like, how much is this? And they were like, oh, that's really on super sale, like, for ten bucks. I got this beautiful ass, uh, champion hoodie for six bucks like that's insane to me yeah and it's still like on sale at Nordstrom for like 90 bucks or something ridiculous so I was like I think I got the deal of a century honestly with this and I caught it at just the right time last piece of clothing that I got at Urban Outfitters was this bad boy it was a dime out and they weren't gonna sell it to me but the manager came over and he was like oh customer satisfaction we'll give it to you for nine dollars and then 40% off of that was Six dollars. It was originally ninety dollars. It's by the Ragged Priest, which I have never owned before. I tried owning it before, but someone stole that package of um, Ragged Priest item that I ordered, so that was really hard to bear. Urban also carries Dr. Martens, um, as well as does Free People. And I take advantage of the sale that I can get with Doc Martens because I love Doc Martens. I love Doc Martens and I'm trying to grow my collection and once I get more space I will grow it exponentially but for right now I'm just growing it little by little as much as my dad will not notice or not get annoyed by but we love Doc Martens in this family. Doc Martens if you don't know they have an amazing history especially with The Who which is a band I mentioned before. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I bought. The first thing I bought were these babies, and they were on sale for $100, and then 40% off of that, they were $60, so that was better than what my discount could have gotten me. These were men's. These were only being sold in men's sizes, and I was so worried because I ordered a size 8 in men's, and I'm about a size 7, 7 and a half. So I thought, you know what? It's fine. They're gonna be a little big on me. I'll wear really thick socks. It'll be great for winter. It's fine. I will put up with it. I just really wanted these shoes. This is the boot. They were made with collaboration with The Who. I have not worn them out. They're still brand new in box. I just, I just love them. I'm sorry if I'm like appearing very weird right now, but they're gorgeous. To my great satisfaction, they were actually a size UK 7, which I was blown away by because that's exactly my size. And I was like, this, that's not a men's 8 though, that's a men's 7. So I was very confused, but very pleasantly surprised because they fit like a glove. These are the 1640s, but they have the Who um, Target and then also the arrow in the back, just spectacular. They have red stitching, which is amazing. And they did this amazing detail for the Who. They have a red airwear tab and then the other thing that they have on them that's really cool is on the shoelaces the aglets are blue and red like 
details. These details are stunning. So I'm obsessed with these shoes. I do not regret these shoes. This was an amazing purchase and I'm so happy I had them. It's basically like this is a collector's item to me and I got them for super cheap and I will hold on to them forever. And you know the Who actually on their social media they did a giveaway with these shoes and I was like I already bought them but I would get them again if I could. Like they're they're so good and I kind of wish I could have gotten the ones that were just um, like the ankle kind of like loafer looking ones but I'm much more happy with these. I'm, I'm a boot girl. They're gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them out is the only problem. I just want to like look at them and breathe them in. I just feel like they honored the who so much with these shoes. Um, to the point where I don't see how you could do a collaboration that could beat this. Like this is a beautiful box. So that was one pair of shoes that I bought. This is my most recent pair of shoes that I purchased and I'm not sure how to feel about them yet. I've been wanting them for forever. Sorry. They're gorgeous. <laughs> um, and they're just they're just all white um this is the virginia pascal 1640 like this is a piece of art it's gorgeous but for me i'm like oh shoot how do i wear them they're gonna get dirty and they're kind of hard to style because you have to wear a very particular outfit with them i also was not expecting them to be this really soft leather this is like super soft leather this is like feels like lambskin. I'm worried about it, honestly. I'm like, do I need to have $90 shoes that are so fragile? I don't even know if I can wear them. I think I'm gonna keep them because I love them. I still love them. Like, don't, don't think that I don't love them. I still love them. I still think they're gorgeous. That's my haul. Um, I have shown everything, I think. Um, I loved everything that I picked up. There are some things that I love more than others. Some things that I think I got a better deal on more than others. That's my spiel. Um, thanks for watching. If you watched my other one um, and you like thrift hauls better, I also like thrift hauls better. I am going to be doing a thrift haul soon um, with a cumulative of everything that I've thrifted. It's just, it's a lot. So I. I may try and break up that one too. I've thrifted a lot of designer stuff lately, so I may do like a thrifted designer versus like regular thrifted. We'll see. I need to figure it out. But I'm just glad I was able to do this. This was fun. This was nice. And I enjoy looking at uh, things that I love, so I'm crazy. Look at his face! Look at his face! She just recently got plucked and she's like, absolutely stunning and perfect in every way. Oh, perfect.